What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your daily gaming hype report. Today is Tuesday, August 6th, 2019, and here are the top gaming headlines that you need to know about. Remember, if you like any of the stories that I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are the top four stories that you need to know about. Story number one. FaZe Clan countersues its Fortnite Pro Tifu. This story from GamesIndustry.biz by Brendan Sinclair. The story reads, FaZe Clan has fired back at its own pro Fortnite player, Turner Tifu Tenny. Tenny sued the esports organization in May, alleging it signed him to an oppressive illegal contract. And, as reported today by Esports Observer, FaZe Clan countersued this week. FaZe Clan is claiming that Tenny violated numerous aspects of his contract by failing to turn over revenue shares that the contract had stipulated, like up to 80% of money from branded social media videos or 50% of touring and in-person appearance income, according to the original suit. Additionally, FaZe Clan says Tenny violated confidentiality agreements and non-disparagement clauses, accusing him of leaking his contract to the press and dragging the company's name down with his original suit and related public comments. FaZe Clan further accuses Tenny of using its trade secrets to create a competing organization. Among the trade secrets it counts as confidential and proprietary are, quote, innovative ways to create and cross-promote videos and media content, including techniques for identifying content that its fans will want to view, end quote. It also claims to have, quote, developed groundbreaking methods and techniques for enhancing and in some cases creating the popularity of gaming-related media personalities and professionalizing their approach, end quote. FaZe Clan says Tenny's contract expires October 27th, 2021, and the confidentiality clause preventing him from using those trade secrets for others stay in effect for three years beyond the contract's termination. FaZe Clan is suing for damages and its revenue share from what is to be believed $20 million it says Tenny has earned over the course of the contract. So everybody, it looks like FaZe Clan and Tifu are back in the news. After the first allegations broke from Tifu back in May, we kind of went into a silent mode, but it looks like FaZe Clan will take steps back towards Tifu and say, hey, here's our countersuit. We are not pleased with what you did with our name and in the media with those first allegations, but we will see where this goes heading into the future. We do know one thing. FaZe Clan has made some big steps in the esports world. They signed Nick Merckx, a big time Fortnite competitive player and they signed Ewok the incredible Fortnite pro as well so some big names going over to FaZe Clan after this Tifu news even broke earlier this year story number two Ninja off to a strong start on Mixer this story from gamesindustry.biz by James Batchelor the story reads Ninja's migration to Microsoft's streaming platform has been a success earning the Fortnite player more subscribers than ever there's a caveat, of course. Microsoft has been running a promotion offering free subscriptions to Ninja's new Mixer channel. He revealed via Twitter that this has seen him hit over 500,000 subscribers on Mixer. According to Screen Rant, his peak on Twitch was 250,000 back in March of 2018. His current subscriber base is under 15,000. At the time of writing, he has over 640,000 followers on Mixer. He peaked on Twitch with 10 million and racked up 3.8 million views over the weekend, which was mostly spent streaming from music festival Lollapalooza. The arrival of Ninja has also driven more interest in Mixer with a surge of new viewers pushing the iOS app to the top of the charts. Well, that sounds like a terrific First weekend over on Mixer for Ninja, as now he's going to exclusively stream on that platform. Not bad to rack up 500,000 subscribers over your first weekend, especially having some fun over at Lollapalooza. Let's make sure to keep an eye on this as the coming months grow. Let's see if he continues to keep these numbers high or if any more streamers of his caliber will jump ship from Twitch and head over to Mixer with him. Story number three. Here's when Fire Emblem Three Houses DLC will release. This story from GameSpot.com by Kevin Kesnovic. The story reads, 
Fire Emblem Three Houses is out now on Nintendo Switch, but there's still a lot of content on the way for the game. In addition to an upcoming free update, Nintendo will be releasing several waves of DLC as part of the title's expansion pass, and the company has outlined when fans can expect that content to arrive. The first wave of DLC launched alongside the game and added male and female Officer Academy outfits for the protagonist. Wave 2 is scheduled to release by October 31st, 2019 and will introduce new auxiliary battle maps as well as, quote, helpful in-game support items, end quote, and some additional content. The third wave of DLC will follow by December 31st and will add new quests and costumes, while the fourth is slated to arrive by April 30th, 2020, and will introduce new story content, including additional playable characters and locations. All four waves of DLC will only be sold as part of the Fire Emblem Three Houses expansion pack, which runs for $25. US dollars. Hey, Nintendo Switch fans out there, I know a lot of you are sinking your teeth into Fire Emblem Three Houses and you're having a lot of fun. And I love that Nintendo has come out and said, hey, let us give you the roadmap for all the DLC that you can expect to make you jump on and want to buy that Fire Emblem's Three Houses expansion pack. So why not for 25 bucks, you're going to get four waves of DLC and some new story content coming by April 30th, 2020. I'm sold on that. I got to go buy it because I'm loving Fire Emblem Three Houses. With all of that, that will conclude this Tuesday, August 6, 2019 Hype Report. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you, if you liked any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go to the show description below. I've left you all the article links there. You can give them a click and support those incredible game journalists around the globe. You have now been caught up for your Tuesday. You're almost halfway through the week, so keep working hard, and I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Have a great day, gamers.